Okay, Arlene, let's take a look at your paper and see what we have. It says, what is, what is my honor? Um, is that I, w I would always follow the rules, um, is respect people, and I always do the right thing. Okay, so you want to put this in the one sentence here, okay? And so you might want to restate it like this. What is, what is my honor? What is honor to me? You can leave it, what is my honor? That's okay. What is my honor? Okay. My, uh, my honor is always following the rules. Um, respecting others and uh, doing the right thing. Okay, that's a lot to prove in one paragraph. You're probably going to want to narrow this down. You're probably going to want to narrow it down to either being respectful or following the rules. Um, always doing that you you have a lot of things going on here so I would probably narrow it down to one of those things um, and come up with several examples proving that you always follow the rules or proving that you are respectful okay so uh, let's take a look at what you have here so that's how I'd revamp that topic sentence put all your uh, thoughts your your thesis what you're trying to prove into one sentence even though I'm super shy, but I uh, still pay attention. And in my house, I always talk a lot. I'm different in my house. Uh, why, always, why always follow the rules is so I wouldn't get in problems like other people do. Okay, so right here, some good information about yourself. Um, but are you, does it pertain to your thesis? Are you proving? Does this relate? To your thesis does a does this statement right here prove that you are respectful prove that you are following the rules and prove that you always do the right thing um, not really I mean I pay attention but that, I mean that's it, it's, a it's a little bit weak there okay so you give a lot of info here but you're not it doesn't really relate to your topic sentence uh, this why I always follow the rules so I don't uh, I wouldn't get always get into problems like other people do because they don't follow the rules okay so you make a statement here you need to give some examples you might give some examples when you had to follow rules that you didn't like okay okay I uh, um, you know one time my mom told me to whatever and I really wanted to go but I couldn't I follow the rules anyway because I'm a respectable person so you need to get some uh, some examples some details not just make a statement don't just make a statement and expect me to believe that you always follow the rules now of course I mean I hope you do and I, I you know want to believe you but you don't give me enough details or examples of times when you followed the rules even when you didn't maybe even didn't even want to but you still followed the rules and you did the right thing or you might give some examples of how you followed the rules and it kept you out of trouble because maybe your friends didn't and tell and they chose the wrong thing and they got in trouble okay so you need to give some examples here that's why when you when you give some examples that's why you don't want to cover all these things you don't want to cover being respectful following the rules and always doing the right thing um, that's not um, the, those are that is not a reasonable argument to defend in one one little tiny paragraph all right um, so I would this is kind of weak I'd get rid of this section I would expand this section out with some examples like a story or, or a, a I remember when you know give me some good details because I'm honest to anybody and some people aren't actually honest to one another but I would ignore those uh, I think you're trying to prove that you are you always do the right thing uh, the correlation here is a little weak but these are generalities there's no details you need to give specific details and examples of when this happened um, okay so you give the general statement but you don't you don't give some good details but I would ignore those I like to talk just that if I don't know you 
Then we're getting back here. Unless someone starts talking to me, I will talk back to them. Once again, we're getting back to some good information about you. Just like up here, but this has nothing to do. with what you're trying to prove. So I would say that your topic sentence lacks, um, your, you, you lack focus. You're, you're not focused on your topic sentence. Like school is really a good place to be respectful and honest and make friends. Well, that's true, but um, even teachers are kind too. That's fine. Uh, Anyone can be honest anywhere. Okay, so these are general statements. But you're not giving specific details. You're making broad sweeping statements. Okay, and you're trying to prove that you are respectful, that you follow the rules that you do the right thing so you need to choose one of those but don't tell me it's a really good place to meet and respect because that doesn't prove that you are making friends on honest okay that's just you're just saying that that is a good place to be honest okay teachers are kind too that has nothing to do with you being honest and respectful okay so uh, we need to focus the details of our writing on our topic sentence know what you're trying to prove in your topic sentence the argument you're trying to prove and then of course you need to, re once you decide what your argument is or your thesis, once you decide what you're going to focus your writing on and try to prove with your details, you need to restate your thesis or your topic sentence um, in your conclusion. Okay, so if you need further help, let me know in class and I will help you. Uh, go ahead and revamp the paper and make it better and focus your writing on um, proving your topic sentence.